Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So, today's video, we're going to talk about are they pushing us to civil war? Now, they obviously are going to be the elite, the, the left, the Democrats, uh, the assholes of the world, segregating this country a little bit at a time. Now, I did a video on the new segregation on the Angry Truth channel. You could take a look at that. Uh, let me know what you think. But... I don't think this is a bit of a stretch. I actually think that this is uh, something that we are not really paying attention to. Well, not all of us are paying attention to it. And I think some of us uh, are paying attention to it. I think some of us are looking at this and going, yo, this is, this is going to land one way or the other in civil war. We are watching other states come up with other um, bills to protect the Second Amendment to protect your free speech, to say that uh, COVID vaccination is not going to be mandatory in that state. I think it's Minnesota that's coming up with that bill. So you have these countries, sorry, these states fighting back the establishment. They're fighting back against Biden. But when you start doing shit like that, guys, that's what succession is. It's when, com when countries, when states, sorry, start coming up with their own executive orders. We saw this happen before the Civil War. Civil War, they were dropping a lot of hammers. The South was, sorry. We're dropping a lot of hammers. Like, nope, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. And he said, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to succeed. And then war started. We are in the same boat right now. If people think that Civil War is supposed to move fast, like they're supposed to start today and tomorrow. This could take five, ten years from now. But nonetheless, we are on deck to see Civil War in this country. The next Civil War. Now, clearly, I think the left is pushing for it because look what they're doing to the right. They're restricting our freedom of speech. They're taking us off of uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Kevin Serbo, for, for Christ's sake. So Kevin Serbo, this dude, played uh, Conan, not Conan, Hercules, gets kicked off of uh, Twitter and uh, Facebook. One of the two, sorry. This guy, this fucking innocent dude. So now they're shutting people down left and right, guys. They're taking freedom of speech away. And the only thing you do when you take speech away from people is you anger them. When you anger people, it leads to civil war. Why does this, uh, what does this mean for preppers? That means at some point, guys, we will be in the middle of some shit. Now, prepping for civil war is just that. You're making sure you got everything you need because you, you're, you're not going to want to be out there. Wherever that, that is, wherever that battle might happen, a war. This could be a tech thing. Like I said in uh, my Civil War 3.0, this could be very well just a tech war. But when you keep silencing people, when you keep taking money away from them, when you keep destroying their livelihoods, where do you think this is going to go next? This is going to lead to a war. This, for preppers, is something that we've been getting ready for, like another civil war in this country. Some preppers are absolutely preparing for this. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not, but I'm seeing the signs. So now I'm trying to see where I can get ready for it uh, outside of the food and water and moving out of New York City. That's that's my first step. And my second step is getting firearms. But again, New York City, firearm rules are so stupid. I don't want to uh, comply. So I, I completely don't comply by not getting any weapons, right? Uh, because then you're also paying New York City that fucking ridiculous fee to own a firearm. That's why I don't get one. Now, we are seeing the left lie constantly on the right, constantly making shit up. Look what they did to Gina Carano, right? So I have a video coming out on Gina Carano's situation on the Angry Truth channel. You can take a look at that as well. Look what they did to her. They completely made up lies. And Disney, like the bags of shits they are, believed those lies and kicked her off the show. And they kicked her off the show without actually telling her she was kicked off. She learned about it through the internet. Disney didn't even have the balls to call and tell her she was gone. She learns about it on uh, Twitter or some shit like that. So there goes someone's likelihood who was being taken, but she pivoted. She said, fuck them. I'm going to pivot and do my own thing. She did that, but not all of us can do that. Some of us, like I said, are losing businesses because the left is lying on us. The left is even lying on their own. God forbid you help somebody on the right. Business-wise, not personally, business-wise. And they're like, oh, this person here, they helped such and such out with their business. Uh, we should boycott them for, for fucking providing a service to somebody else. People are losing their business. 
this is what happens when you let the fucking uh, psychopaths out of the insane asylum. You let them out the insane asylum and you give them the keys to the fucking car. This is what happens. We, 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 we're out of control. Now, again, back to the Civil War. You saw a couple of my older videos on Civil War. Uh, if you just scroll down below to my older videos, you see those videos on Civil War. Guys, Civil War is not something we want to get into. We don't want to fucking fight that battle. I don't want to fight that battle. If I have to, I will, but I don't want to fucking, you know, be in a, in, in, in a battlefield, someone shooting at another fucking dude because we disagreed on some shit that all we had to do was talk about, but we're not doing that. But instead, we're motherfucking other people. We're getting in their fucking faces at protests. We're throwing shit at them. We're beating them up. We're, we're, we're sending them to the hospital. You know, in some cases, we're shooting them dead in the street. What do you think is going to happen when you keep pushing people back? Because like a lot of people said, the uh, Kumbaya moment is fucking gone. The hold hands across America, dead. Unfortunately, some hard shit and some hard decisions are going to have to be made. Because what else is left? And again, for preppers, we can, listen, for preppers, we can sit back because this is what we were preparing for, a lot of us. Not me, myself, but preppers in general. And we can sit back and go, well, we knew this was going to happen. But at some point in time, that shit might be knocking at your front door, might be coming to you. Then what? Do you get involved? Do you leave it alone? This is a prepper thing, guys. It, it, it's, again, what we've been preparing for, and we are going to have to tackle it at some point. The other thing, guys, that they're doing right now, the left, is they're calling you homophobic, racist, xenophobic. They're throwing transphobic. They're throwing these fucking terms out to make you feel bad about yourself. Listen, you can call me racist, homophobic, xenophobic, sexist, whatever makes you fucking happy. Whatever makes your nipples hard, ladies, you could call me what the fuck you want. I don't fucking care. That's where I'm at right now. You can call me homophobic, and I'm like, guess what? Then I'm homophobic. I'm a racist. I'm misogynistic. Whatever the fuck label makes you sleep better at night, that's what the fuck I am. Because we are throwing those terms out there at people left and right and trying to make them feel bad and trying to take away their fucking their livelihoods. Like I said, taking away their free speech. Where do you think this is going to end when you keep pushing? It's going to lead to fucking war. Now, as far as us getting prepared for it, guys, the only thing right now that we can do to prepare for it is, like I said in a million of my other videos, keep preparing. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Keep storing shit away. If you don't have room, create some fucking room. If you have a fucking treadmill that you're not using in the corner of your house that's been sitting there for the last five years, toss that bitch and put food in its place. Keep preparing, guys. That's all you can do. Now, like I said, is this how civil war could start? I don't know, man. I mean, I like, we're definitely headed towards something. It's just, I, I think as preppers, we need to be Johnny on the spot with listening to the media, listening to the news and seeing what's going on. And guys, you have to dive deeper than the uh, what the media is telling you. You have to dive deeper than that. You have to look and research yourself to see the different things that are happening around the country that the left is not going to report. So again, be... Let it be your best interest. Let it be in your best interest, sorry, to keep tabs of what's going on. Because I don't like what's going on. And this year is starting off just as bad as 2020, if not worse. Uh, I don't think it's worse, but I think it's just as bad. I think we're definitely fucking 2021, man, came in hot. This is like, fuck this, right? We had a, a, a capital event. We had a storm fucking wipe out the Southwest, if you will. Guys, we just, I mean, I don't want to say what else can happen because I know what else can happen. But I think we're, we're, we're definitely headed towards a, a, a rockier uh, year this year than last year. Especially with the new variants coming out and they're, they're talking about, one, the homegrown. You're going to hear this bullshit. To get China off the hot seat, they're calling one the homegrown variant. Meaning it was grown here in New York, um, California, sorry. Homegrown. I'm still blaming this shit on China. I don't give a fuck how many times this thing deviates, variates, turns into something different, turns into fucking Ed McMahon or whatever the fucking vi uh, virus does. I don't give a shit how many times it splits. China still caused this. Bottom line. They keep coming up with different variants to get us away from blaming China. The UK variant, South African variant, Brazilian variant. There's one in California that started there on its own. No, it didn't. None of these started there on its own. They all started in China. So keep China on the fucking hot seat or keep them in the hot seat by blaming them constantly. 
that's what we do all right guys so this is the angry prepper thank you for watching you can like and subscribe to this channel you can also follow me on the angry truth channel and other than that guys thank you for watching